never it's say kinda, goodbye. You never say goodbye. Somebody wanted to know if you uh, said goodbye to Eric when you left England. No. I don't say goodbye to anybody. That kind of puts a final stamp on the relationship. You know? Uh, no. You got to go, you got to go. And the people that, you know, live in, in the world, out in the world, they're on the move. I was on the move all the time. You know, more, more like, see you later, you know. <laughs> you didn't say goodbye to George either, did you? No, uh huh? I'm saying goodbye, goodbye to Bye, George, I'm going to be one I'm of them. Of driving around <laughs> saying goodbye to everybody. <laughs> Uh-uh, hell no. That's just not your style. I don't see you. No, uh-uh. Come and go as I please. I don't need to... They'll know, they know when I'm there, they know when I'm gone, you know. <laughs> they sense my presence when I'm there, and they sense it when I'm gone, so... Well, I would imagine that things weren't going so hot anyway, because Stigwood was trying to get rid of you. <laughs> Well, you know, he wasn't doing anything and to help me. And he wasn't telling Eric stuff either, and, was he? Well, you know, I have some uh, some of my own things. Like when I was in Denmark, and uh, well, I had to wind, I wound up in Denmark because we went back to uh, uh, the uh, England, and I was gonna and I had my girlfriend and all, and you know, and our first child together. And I was just going to go back to England. It seemed like to me everybody else was married with a kid. What was what would be wrong with me being with somebody and having a baby, you know? And but it didn't seem to play out that way for me there. <laughs> uh, I got I got to uh, the customs and I had a you know, a couple of little run-ins, you know, passing the queen probably wasn't the best thing I could have ever done, you know, and I got a minor bust, you know, and that was on my record. And then I called, uh, they weren't going to let me come through, you know, I said, where are you going? I said, I'm, I'm got a house in Ascot, you know, let's come back to my house. And I said, no, you're not coming this time, you know. And because I had the little the, the run in with the law, and I think they just found an opportunity for me to. I said, Well, to keep me out of the country, I said, Call the office, call Robert Stickwood. And so they did just that. You get one phone call, and uh, they made one call, call Robert Stickwood, and he said, Yeah, he says, I can't, but I'm not going to be responsible for him. And two, he had that little drug bust. But see, I had called Eric's, and Patty answered the phone. Mm -hmm. And I said, hey, this is what's going on with me. That's the first thing I did was call Eric's house, you know, from the, and that was my one call. <laughs> and so she said, well, it sounds like something that the office could, have, could take care of. Call, have them call Robert, so they call Robert. And I think that he found that opportune time to have me Keep you out. not involved with Eric. And so he told them, he reminded the customs people that of my minor bust, drug bust. And he said, yes, I, I, I'm not, but I, I know Bobby, but I'm not going to be responsible for him. You know, and that, having said that, they came back to me and they said, you, you can't stay in the country because you've been busted, you know. And uh, you can't come back for 10 years. <gasps> And so I went, what? So and they took my passport and we spent the night. And then they said, you can go anywhere on the planet except any a, a they place that has to do your, with Great Britain. They confiscated your passport. Oh, yeah. They confiscated our passports. Oh. We stayed in the hotel and we had to figure out from that night to when. Uh, we're, and she was Danish, so. I said, go any, anywhere in the world we can go, uh, except uh, uh, Great Britain, you know. And um, she said, I, uh, I want to go to Denmark. And I went, what? <laughs> <Jesus>. <laughs> Denmark? <laughs> I mean, that's like a speck on the planet, you know. <laughs> well, I thought, Hawaii, you know, Denmark. <laughs> okay, <laughs> well, we went to Denmark. And then 
I had a summer house there. <laughs> and when it started snowing, I heard a big boom one night, you know, <laughs> and it was ice cracking on the roof. <laughs> it was time to go, you know. Uh, it was hell of a deal. So, yeah, I, I got a opportunity to start my life over and n could never go back, could never go back to uh, Great Britain. Never, you know, right. for 10 years. Well, don't you and know that he never even mentioned that to Eric, I would imagine. No, yeah, that didn't So how could you say goodbye if they, you know, like, you know what I mean? You never can say goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. Adios will have to do. <laughs> <laughs> oh, jeez. Yeah, break my heart. Couldn't go back to England. Well, so... Then everybody had a chance to dive in and get whatever they wanted. They took all your stuff. Took all my stuff, yeah. I mean, you had a house there. It was full of your belongings. I had a house full of antiques and I had a chickering, white chickering baby grand, or full-size grand piano, a Hammond organ, two Leslie's, a couple of Revox recorders, all of my clothes, everything. And so it just all just kind of went. You know, everywhere. They took everything you had. Took everything I had. They took the, uh, the Hessian wallpaper off the walls of my place. The, uh, all, everything. Uh, they took everything from me. Jesus. Yeah. And, um, but when I left with literally what I had on my back, I never got my stuff back. You know. And that included your Ferrari, didn't it? Yeah, it was, uh, yeah, Ferrari and Mercedes and couple other things. Cars what about your, your instrument? They took out all your instruments as well? Yeah, pretty much every, everything except what I had. I didn't, I never saw my piano again. I was curious about what happened to it because I, I, went out, I found that piano and in a, a huge piano yard. And I forget where I went, but they had nothing but old, beautiful old pianos. And I saw this chickering and I wanted to restore it. And uh, it had a wood sounding board. Beautiful, beautiful. I don't know what happened to that. Well, so I just started all, all my life all over. And when my 10 years was up, I wasn't all teething at the bits to, give, uh, to go to you got over England. It. I was over England. I'm still over England. You know? Well, at least when we went there the last time, you were terrified that they were going to stop you and not let you in. <laughs> and the, you remember the guy, the customs guy said, I do. He held up my passport to this other guy and he said, look who we got here. And I'm going, oh no. And then he said, welcome home, Mr. Whitlock. <laughs> they were really nice. Yeah, they were really nice. But I, the guy knew me. <laughs> yeah, he said, well, how's your pal doing? Yeah. <laughs> Something like that. Yeah, talking about Eric. Yeah. That was oh, yeah. wild. Wasn't me. <laughs> yeah, so we we were just we just. So, so it was nice that they that they welcomed you back in. Yeah, but that yeah. was many years later. Of course, but we didn't. We haven't been back since then, though. No. no, but we'll probably go. Yeah, we'll probably will go for a visit. Yeah, oh, yeah. I I wouldn't want to live there again. This is I don't no. want to live anywhere except exactly where we are right now. Well, you, know, you got it. Finally, know I'm <laughs> home. You know. We got a lot to do here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're in the, the uh, kitchen at the moment. I'm not yeah, showing. Yeah. I'll, I'll be showing. Maybe show some stuff later. But we literally just moved in. So. Yeah. All right. Thank you. Too late. Oh, hang on. I can do that again. <laughs>